Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Cafe, and I've got a new guest on the line, and he's a photographer and videographer, and uh, his name is, is William, right? William, yep, Will, William McLeod. Bill or William? Bill or William works well. Really? If you get to know you, then it's Bill, and other than that, formally, it's William. I don't use Bradley. <laughs> I lived in the Middle East for 10 years, Brad, and uh, everybody there didn't understand the transition between William and Bill. So I had to go with William until I met a couple of Americans or Canadians or whatever that understood the transition. So I don't understand the transition. I can, I can play with both. I agree. I don't understand the transition. It's just common that uh, William is Bill. There's a lot of weird names. There is. So I do these kind of fast. I don't take too much time because time is a commodity that we've all got the exact same amount of, and it's a, it's a rare commodity these days. So we just get to, to the point and find out who you are and what you do and all that stuff. So, William, Mr. Bill, are you uh, married and you got kids and stuff like that? I am married, uh, going on 10 years now, and I have four kids. Four of them? All boys, I'll bet. It was a package deal, buy one, get two free. So uh, <laughs> I, I won in that deal, and then uh, my wife and I have had two more kids together. So. Oh, my God. Yeah, my wife's got a, a boy. He's uh, graduated and off to college and all that kind of stuff. But I know that ends up being a lot of work because you, you're self-employed, right? This is your business? Yes, indeed. Yeah, that, that, that can get, be a challenge when you got kids running around, you're trying to take care of stuff, especially being home office and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, well, we have a home office. We have a studio downtown as well. But yeah, that's it's uh, it can be a bit of a challenge. But it's also one of those things where if I want to take a Wednesday afternoon off and take the kids to the movies, I can do that. So uh, my boss can be difficult sometimes, but uh, you're looking at him. So. <laughs> yep, I agree. I, I love the self-employed and the freedom that it that it that you can block out your own time and do what you want to do when you want to do it. You know. Sure. So let's get to it as far as what is it you do? I understand that you do uh, like imagery, photography, videography, things of that sort. That's right. We're a commercial film and photography business. What that means is that we work with other businesses. We're, you know, not into weddings and, and other, you know, personal type stuff. It is strictly a commercial uh, based business. Uh, we have three primary business units under the business. One of them is called Imago Films. That's kind of our higher end uh, commercial work. That is a client coming to us with a very specific brand, a very specific creative concept that they want to execute. And they only want to do it at the highest level. Uh, we have another, our, our, our kind of mid-funnel uh, uh, product, which is called Content Creators. Um, as you know, the trend is changing. Video is becoming more and more important yeah. uh, on Google, on Facebook, on YouTube. YouTube's about to overtake Google as the uh, most searched search engine on the web. Uh, that is happening right now as we speak. So anyways, content creators is a product that we've developed essentially for those customers that already understand they need to be out there and they need to be producing regular, uh, engaging, interesting content. And so right. that's kind of a, a, a way that we do that. And then the third business unit that we have is called Spotlight. Uh, and this is more of kind of our tiptoe in. A lot of customers are starting to recognize they need video, that it's actually becoming as necessary for a business as a business card or a website, but not everybody knows how to do it. Not everybody knows how to get into it. There's a lot of fear. It's a, It can be costly. It can be uh, um, a bit intimidating if you've never been in yeah. front of a camera. So Spotlight is essentially uh, an easy tiptoe in, low cost way for us to get in front of customers, to help educate them, to show them how a video can be uh, uh, good and functional for their businesses. And we are launching that right now across the Twin Cities. Uh, that's a good idea because there are, I mean, I, I do a lot of video stuff, but I've been a magical entertainer, so I have no problem in front of getting in front of people. But a lot of people already got that camera shy thing. And it's kind of weird that they, they will go and talk to humans, but putting that thing on that camera lens, uh, maybe it's because it's documented or something. Red dot is on, you know, and they know it's recording. <laughs> Everybody kind of clams up a little bit. So even me, I've been on the yeah. backside of the camera for so many years and getting in front of it is just a different experience. It's kind of strange. So it's, I like that you have this little, uh, like the spotlight kind of thing where they can kind of get in and get acclimated and then you might get into more lifestyle or business, uh, you know, longer videos and editing and all that kind of stuff, I'm assuming. Right. Yep. So you, uh, I can see the stuff equipment in the back. You got drones and stuff like that too. Yeah, yeah we we do drones. We do. Uh, I've got the, the set of studio flashes, uh, several different cameras, both video and photography. So we, we kind of scan uh, or span the gamut, if you will. 
Uh, we're getting into a lot of live uh, production now, um, live to Facebook or live to YouTube. Uh, we just did the craft beer tour uh, this past weekend out in St. Cloud, and that okay. was a three camera shoot that we were mixing all into an iPad. Now it all's like it's all wireless, and it all it's not like you know the old days where you had to drive a truck out there and have uh, you know uh, uh, three hundred thousand dollars worth of gear on set. Now we can kind of package it all. Uh, in a cost achievable way uh, and get clients, you know, out there and being seen and, and engaging with their customer base. Yeah, times have changed. So that's, that's probably very convenient because you said you, you did this beer festival or whatever. So I'm in the involved with events. I've been, I started doing magic when I was a little kid and that got me into corporate events and doing trade shows and expos and, and you know, those concerts and festivals. And one of the things that I'm working on is this deal in, in uh, Costa Rica. I'm doing a event center out there. So who knows? We might need to get you out to Costa Rica and you can take some like aerial views and we'll be doing some retreats and masterminds. And it's always cool to have those aerial views of all the, the people doing things and flying around and all that kind of stuff. That's very cool. Absolutely. It's all about perspective, right? So you kind of covered exactly kind of how you do your work. And I also, I think that's pretty cool too that you're, you're compact with this new technology so that if someone does want to do uh, like a, something at a remote, like a mastermind retreat or a incentive trip or something and, and document it, they don't have to pay to have crates of equipment shipped down. You'd probably be able to do almost do it on a carry-on. That's about right. Yeah. Wow. Uh, That's I mean, fascinating. This, this, this black bag that you see back here in the background can pretty much package everything that we would need for a remote uh, kind of shoot within, you know, Within reason, there's a couple of tripods we might have to throw in there and a couple other bits and pieces. But, uh, yeah, we can keep it small and keep it mobile. Well, you're up in the northern part of the, the city. If you're ever down here in Minneapolis, uh, look me up. Let's uh, grab a coffee and explore some options and stuff, some ideas. Sounds good. So here's my favorite question, and this is the big why question. Why is it that you're doing this as opposed to being a school teacher or opening up a martial arts studio or, or being a painter? Why are you doing this? You know, it's a, it's a, it's a big question, right? The why question. Yeah. Um, and to, to answer why, I kind of have to go back to where I, I kind of split paths in my own life. You know, when I was 18 years old uh, in high school and I had friends and we're making these little movies, but it was always something that we never really took very serious. And then I kind of took a more serious path in life and joined the military uh, then I got out of the military, went to college. I actually have a network engineering degree and I worked at a help desk and I was making ridiculous amounts of money as a 24 year old, but I absolutely wasn't inspired myself by what I was doing, despite mm -hmm. the fact that I felt I was good at it. Uh, and, uh, while I was in university, uh, this film production track came up in the university. And so I ended up double majoring and getting a film production degree as well, changed over my career in the military. And basically now it's been 17 years of making uh, quality, interesting content for people. And the thing that I really love about video production specifically, and I think something that even customers love when they see it, is that you come up with this creative idea, but it's extremely visual. You actually get to see what you visualized in the end. And it it's, you know, it, it can, can be very inspiring uh, both for for me as a, as a you know, director, producer, shooter, whatever you want to call me, and also for the end customer who finally gets to see uh, their baby come to life and they can show it right. and share it with a lot of people. Sort of get what's out of their head, that's, that, their, that, that vision in front of their brain, they get it into real life so other people can see it. Got it. But like I, trans I detected a little bit of you like to do it for the people, though. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because absolutely. I do a lot of these interviews, and I always ask the big why question, and I think it's very, very cool that people usually want to do it to help other people. That's where yeah. it all comes down. Very cool. So speaking of people, I don't like to take too much of their valuable time, so I'm going to wrap this one up and put it in the can, as they say. And okay. uh, what I do with these is I put a little intro and outro on it, and then I beam it up to the universe, and then if you would share it also, I'll send you the link for it. And that's how this Synergy Collaborative thing works is one hand washes the other, and I share it, and you share it, and we get some exposure. Awesome. Well, thanks, if, thanks, Brad. Thanks for doing this, and uh, thanks for having me on. Absolutely. If you want to stick around, we'll have a little, a little more of a chat. So I appreciate you taking the time. Peace. Sounds good.